Last time on Kingdom Chronicles, I'm in the nether and hey Looney, it has been a while. Not doing his voice, he replied, at least a month. I'm here in the nether because I need some experience, I need some levels so that I can craft some things and repair some things. I need to repair some shovels and whatnot. Then this happened. Well, it all starts off going well. But then I start fighting with the gas. Thinking that it would be an easy thing to do. All you gotta do is hit him with an arrow. Do you see that? That was an awesome shot. I don't really notice the pigment around me. This is not good. Gentian killed by a pigment. Hasn't happened in a long time. Rest in peace. Crap, what about my stuff? Damn! All my god armor is in. All I found was a fence, he says. It's out there. We gotta go get it. Let's go. Now, the conclusion of this episode of Kingdom Chronicles. Okay, obviously, I don't remember where I died. However, this right here is the spot. Now all I gotta do is get my stuff. Over here. So I head over to where Looney is. Of course, I'm immediately wondering, is this all of it? And where's the rest of my stuff? Maybe Looney picked it up. And I'm looking around and I notice immediately... Crap, the pigment is wearing my armor. Come inside and I'll attract them. But I'm worried about the pigment. Because I notice where some of my stuff is. The pigment have my armor. And my sword, actually. Can you help me kill them? I don't mean to sound like I'm yelling. It's just coming out that way. Come inside where it's safe and I'll kill them. Okay, I'm coming over there. And I know he's right. I mean, I'm a little freaked out at this point, but without armor, it's not a good idea to be attacking Pigment. So I should definitely let him do it. Here they come. This should help me get my stuff back. It's hard to watch and not contribute anything. Seems like there'd be a better way to do this. Who needs to use the, the mob grinder? Because it automatically picks up the drops and puts them in a chest. Go down into the mob grinder over here. Of course, the pigmen then follow. They immediately step inside the hole. And he can kill them in his leisure. As soon as he kills them all, my armor will drop and will appear in the chest. Great. Now let me get my stuff. I can see my armor and my sword. That's both here, but I'm not sure where the rest of my stuff is. Uh, of course, the armor is what's really important because that's the one thing I can't replace. So I'm going to put that on me right now. Boom. 
boots, armor, helmet. Thank you. Thank you so much. I put the rest of your stuff in this chest over here. Rest of, aha, the rest of my stuff. You're a lifesaver, LOL. No problem. That's all my stuff. That's everything I had. Must have been the stuff he picked up before I got there. Are you missing a sword? This zombie has an enchanted one. Uh, no. I have my sword. What's he looking at? Nope. He didn't drop it, so it didn't belong to anyone. I think it was an iron sword. Thanks, I'm going to kill some pigmen. I have zero levels now. Okay. See ya. Thanks again. See ya. Just what I needed. Lots of pigmen. This time I won't be greedy and I won't let myself get killed again. Let me just build up some levels and then I'll be right back. My next project is going to be a map. I've gone through and created maps for most of the area and now I need to set up some lighting behind the maps and I'm gonna build a big tile map along the ground. Sometimes when you dig you find holes from previous creeper explosions. This one was repaired but looks like not very well so I'm gonna take out the wooden planks and replace them with dirt. I used a web application, it's spelled A-M-I-D-S-T, to create this small map. This should be what the area looks like. Okay, I just realized I can't put an item frame which holds the map on top of a torch. So I have to lower the torches one level down, and then I can put glass across the top, and then I can put the item frames on the glass. With the torches underneath the glass, it will shine through, provide plenty of light, and backlit the maps. Backlight the maps? So now I'm getting the maps that I have collected. You have to, of course, go to that location and open the new map. Attacked by a zombie, just realize it's nighttime sleeping through the night baby zombie and I'm on fire and back to work one thing I've noticed is that I have to I didn't put these because of the orientation I have to actually rotate each of the maps 90 degrees if I had done it with the top facing north, I wouldn't have to do that. There's the village. You can see it on that map. This took me a long time. I had to go to each of those locations and open up the maps. Now, you make a map with a compass and paper, or you can buy a map from a cartographer they use the new block that is the cartography workstation that allows you to interface with a cartographer and they will sell you maps or buy paper from you for emeralds so that's what i've been doing is selling them paper and getting the pre-made maps they don't have a map on them until you open them. 
and that's an easier way than trying to find the recipe for a map that you can use on a crafting table to craft it. And this gives me a better idea of which blocks, or I should say which squares, I haven't got a map for yet. I believe that's all of the maps I've got. So I'm just going to fill in the rest of this area with uh, more, more frames. And then I can go out to those locations and fill in the rest of the map. I will keep you updated as I fill in the rest of this map and show you how it's progressing as time moves on. And I believe that should wrap up this episode. So thank you for watching. Please consider supporting me on Patreon. If you can't do that, then come back to this video. There is a link in the description for Amazon, and that would help me too. Otherwise, please subscribe and click on the bell so you know when I produce videos. Goodbye. Goodbye.